It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1978, recorded Thursday, March 7th, 2024. TikTok, time to mock. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dickie D reveals his what the heck was it, plus he has a brand new what the heck is it, and I have a brand new theme for my crappy corner. All next on The Giz Wiz. It's the same old show uh. with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Wiz now. Now! now. And here he is, our gadget reporter, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Diggy D? I am doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. I'm doing good. Excellent, excellent. Are you still loving your Vision Pro? I am. I am still spatially computing whenever I get the chance. Oh my um, gosh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I thought that the. I thought that the Vision Pro would be easier and to take outside of the house, but I still have not seen anyone else. Like I, I, <laughs> I haven't seen enough articles or like photos or anyone else wear a Vision Pro outside of like their. You know, I haven't seen any of them at all in the wild. You know. Uh, and so I don't want to take it to like Starbucks or like. <laughs> Out well, let out. me ask you this. If you have to fly somewhere, will you wear it on the airplane? I might, yeah. I'd probably the airplane, I w I'd go ahead and break. I'd do it. I'd take it out and wear it. Because the airplane is a long enough experience where I really would rather be in virtual reality than sitting on the plane, right? Yeah. Like, I'd rather be completely... But immersed. aren't your arms going to be moving all about... Not really, because... Not it's, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, and I think that that's why Apple really focused on the eye tracking part of it, is because oh, you really oh, don't oh, have okay. to be grabbing and moving your, your hands. It's kind of natural to kind of hold your hand out and, and reach at stuff uh, that you're clicking at, but you don't have to. And so I can, if like, say I want to drag, I mean, mostly just to, you do have to kind of use a bit of movement to drag forward or backward in space, but... Typically, you're just clicking. So I can look at something and, and click really, in, you know, I could, my hand could be almost anywhere. Um, oh, okay. And I can click. Okay. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so, so far it's, it's, it's been great. It's been, it's been doing good. Um, so cannot complain um, about the Excellent. Vision Pro. Excellent. Uh, anything else new with you? Boy, uh, no, we just had a fun thing at the Museum of Natural History. They had a members' night where they had a planetarium show just for members, and they had it was live, and the people putting it on were kind of joking around. And they had foodie things and some snack things, so it was great fun. It's kind of fun to roam through part of the museum when it's like just 100 people. <laughs> so yes yeah totally. so that you was you have the whole fun. place to yourself it's like yeah exactly exactly uh you're well, gonna make your own night at the museum yes like, situation <laughs> going on yeah exactly exactly but i didn't want to roam into like the insect room where they have just in case they some of them were not totally dead <laughs> uh yeah i would uh th yeah i i when I was on, you know, when I was younger, I think, gosh, museums were like the things that like my parents took us to all the time. That was like the, you know, you go to a new place, aim for a museum and, and check it out. So, um, would you, oh, same situation as y'all were growing up or what did you uh, do? On no, we had school trips. Oh. Uh, my, yeah. <laughs> uh, my parents weren't big on, on taking me anywhere we had a house in the country which everybody thought was miraculous but i hated it i mean in the summer it was okay but we went up there 
all winter long and there was no running water in the house. What? I had a, I had a red wagon and, and dozens of jaws and I would have to walk three blocks to a neighbor who had a well. No way. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. And all and winter y'all would be there. Every weekend, every weekend. And um, it was your job to get the water, sounds to like. To get the water That's so that we could flush the toilet and cook. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toilet if you didn't have running water. Uh, well, once the house was heated, you the water would not refreeze and you could put it in the toilet and then flush it. Ah. <laughs> but then when you left, you had to drain it. I didn't, uh, I had never understood my father's fixation with thinking that was great. That you could it was, drain it. and then. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was near uh, Jeff Adams, Nekong, New Jersey, a tiny little uh, village man. in uh, New Jersey. Man, man, oh man. Uh, anyway. That's fun. That's very, yeah, that's very rustic. Holy moly. That's like, yeah, you're camping. Yeah. I mean, you're not even like. <laughs> no, you're surviving. <laughs> right. The summer was fine. The summer was fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because God. there was a clubhouse and every year I would say, uh, can I put on a, a show? And they would say, do something. People are bored. <laughs> so um, I had a lot of fun putting on shows and having uh, game events and stuff in the clubhouse. So that was good. But in the winter, there was like nobody there. Yeah. It's yeah. like the off season. <laughs> yeah, the off, off, off season. Because <laughs> nobody could flush their toilets. That was yeah, pretty obvious yeah. why you'd leave and not be there in the winter. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's get started with some gadgets. Let's jump in. Okay, let's do uh, the first What the Heck Is It? Here we go. It's What the Heck Is It time. Dennis has not seen this gadget, nor have you. Uh, 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 um. I even left the name on. What the heck is it? It looks like an alarm bell uh, or like a. Uh, a trainer, oh, that's a good a guess. Like a school. A trainer? A like trainer time to go to the next class. Babies. Oh, a toilet seat for babies. <laughs> uh, okay. No. A cooker, now. No smoke detector. No. Uh, uh, um, what on earth? Mm -mm -mm. Boom. Is it. An electronic bug killer? Um, well. We'll give you that. Oh, good. It's actually a camping light with ah, an oh. unbelievable difference, okay? So it has several. I don't know why you need sunset blinking. That's kind of bright and uh -oh. brighter yet. And then off. But. And, and this is so you can hang it from the yeah. tent pole or a tree. That's cool. Okay. But this is the bizarre thing. Is a what? camping. What? Let me turn music it on. Box? Where's it's it going? Like, it's like a music box. What? Is uh, it's. What is it? Is that string <laughs> LEDs? <laughs> yes. What? Is this weird. What do you want to put on a camp show? Is this a riot? That is so funny. Is it retractable? It's. I hope it is. Oh. <laughs> no. Let me just show you what the because when you go camping, so I think bizarre. I think when you go camping, the thing you most want oh, to do you know, it's pretty though is yeah. outline yeah. your tent in lights. That is you know, crazy. So this is a camping light with thirty two point eight feet. What of LEDs? Isn't that live a mode? <laughs> LED light. This is actually group. the coolest thing I've ever <laughs> seen. Love this is awesome. yeah, it is, it is yeah, really my tent. neat. That is crazy. Well, you know, maybe you, you it fade maybe, in maybe, and out. Maybe it, it blinking would scare bugs away. Oh, maybe. Or well, maybe the bugs will Or say, bears and hey, things like that. that. Go bears to the and tent. snakes. Although, it, uh, I think bugs are not supposed to be attracted to yellow. I'm not sure. Anyway, I thought that when I saw this, I thought, oh, my God. That's a riot. I've got to buy this. <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, even as a non-camping lot, you could use it for decorations to holidays. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you can. Yeah. Use, I actually, yeah. you know what? If you're having a birthday party for the kids in the park or something, yeah. even if it wasn't dark out, 
this would be fun just oh, to yeah, hang up. Great. Yeah. And it retracts in theory by taking the hanging part and turning it in the direction of the arrow to oh, it's working. Yeah. rewind. Does that white. wire seem like it would get tangled white easily? White to you know what? It didn't. Because uh, I'm just it watching the, the video myself and I wasn't even like fading? stretching it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the lights stay yellow even though the camping light so You can light have white light on that. White. But the, the so uh, stream lights are always yellow. There are two sets of lights in That's here. That's very cute. Um, That's it. Does it have a name? No, just camping string lights. And they were 24 bucks. And they got... 58 ratings, 4.6. People like them. And yes, USB-C. <gasps> Amazing. Comes a little charging cable, little LED light down there that's red. And you plug it in with the little cable until it lights up green. And then it's charged. I and love that. It suddenly that. dawned on me to add just a little bit more to show you when it's dark out. These are pretty neat i i am it, so impressed with those because isn't what, it great what i'm thinking of is so my first thought was it'd be so cool to put that actually inside of the tent because whenever it's nighttime and i turn on you know a light in the tent i always have an issue that because it's just one singular light there are so many shadows everywhere. It's actually really hard to like see things to put on. You know, if you're trying to put on your socks and it's nighttime or whatever, you know, the shadows are just so harsh. So you pull that, you know, 36 long thing out and you string it along the inside of the oh, tent. Oh, that would be great. And then that soft glow would light everywhere. You wouldn't have any shadows. And it's okay if it's nice and dim because you're camping. There's no lights around. Your eyes are yeah. going to uh, adjust to that dim light and I think make it, I actually like that it's dim because I think that uh, you know your your eyes could adjust a bit easier to light. I like this a lot. Yeah, no, I do too. So it's a 1500 milliamp battery. Uh, string lights can stay on steady for seven and a half hours. Oh, did it go up in price? Oh, it did. Now there is a twenty. Oh no, the, uh, it went up in price, but now there's a twenty percent yeah. off coupon. Um, <clears throat> And if you have everything on, it'll last up to three hours. If you have the bright, uh, the white light and the stream lights. Uh, but you can also just run it off for an external battery charger. Wow, it's waterproof. Yeah. That's so uh, uh, yeah, cool. Yeah. It's wow. uh, IPX4, which is, uh, you can get it wet, but you can't submerge it. Yeah. I love that it's rechargeable with USB-C because... I feel like I would have, I wouldn't feel guilty for just turning it on and just like leaving it on and then I could just recharge it whenever I need, where if it was like disposable batteries or AA batteries. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes, absolutely. It's, uh, Abs oh, hello, Waffles. <laughs> hello, Kitty Cat. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that, that was great. I, it was a fun, I, it's a fun game. I'm just impressed I had never seen anything like it. And I think Me that it is either. I, you know, sometimes when I have nothing to do, <clears throat> I just roam through uh, Amazon yeah. And find that is stuff. a cool one. That is a really cool one because on, either on the inside or the outside, I think you could make a really cool uh, ambiance at your campsite if you want to do it on the outside or actually practically use it um, on the inside. Uh, it does look like it is less expensive because I'm not signed into Prime. I see that. So look, uh, because I'm just not signed in, it's still twenty three ninety nine. Oh, you're okay. In Prime, and it Prime. looks like you get 20% on top of that. Oh! So, you might get 20% on top of that. So, that is the... Boy, that is that's the, very the, good. Yeah, definitely. Very good. Uh, very cool. Very, very cool. That is a neat one. Okay, another gadget that might be cool. <laughs> it's been a long time since I heard about, read about, or have seen... A sunrise clock. Okay. Uh oh. And then I saw one on Amazon. It's a sound machine sunrise alarm clock. And it what's also amazing about it, it has a name you can pronounce, Zarin. Wow. Z E R A I N. 
okay? And it was deal of the day. I think it might have been $15 off or $20 off something. Uh, 4.2 stars, only 63 people, but always looking for something a little different. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so let us see what it is, what it's like. Um, uh, oh, you know what? This looks kind of interesting. Oh, oh. I like this. looks interesting So already. transparent. I didn't realize yeah. that from the beginning. Uh, okay. So it doesn't, it uses AC via, I guess you can plug it through. Good An thing, battery more charger. and more USB-C. And to save time, I don't have to send anything up. I have this longish USB-C cable that comes up to my desk. Uh, oh, look, it has a charging port in the back. Uh, it's five out. volts. And ah, this is like USB-C <laughs> in. That's nice All if you right. wanted to charge it. Two phone. alarms. Yeah. Oh, well, look at this. You know, I like this already. Oh. You can, oh, you know, let me just turn this a nice big printout, too. You can, you can set it to wake up to any color. You can set the night light for any color. And I do like the fact that this is kind of a, let me, I'm just going to hit arbitrary buttons back here and see what happens. All right. All right. So that dims the clock. You know what I'll do? I will do something I hate to do, but I'll look at the instruction book and see how. Ooh. <laughs> You know, that's why it said kids. Lullaby. Todd, so you it can should, yeah. uh, also have a little bit of song. It would put you to sleep. Music. Right you and it also can do white noise. So I'll check the instruction book and then we'll come All back. All right. I've spent more than an hour with this clock. More well, like nine no. minutes. No way. Yeah. It's not for someone with no patience. Okay. So let's look down here. It says, uh, we'll count the buttons. One. Two. We'll still count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. What? The first instructions. There are nine buttons. <laughs> That's the first one. Okay. There are nine buttons on your clock. All right. I finally figured it out. The ninth button is not a button. Oh it's my. Okay. So. Let me just see if I can lower this. Yeah. Okay. It's one of those deals that if you press it once, it does one thing. If you hold it, it does another. Oh, no. But what it does depends on what mode it's in in the first place. <laughs> uh, so right now, I don't know what mode we're in. But I'm going to... These are sound effects. There are eight, I believe, eight sound effects. Okay. And you change them, birds, brook, crickets, maybe a fire, more birds, I guess that's the brook, and then it goes off. There are three nursery tunes. Um, the, the thing is, there is not one word... <laughs> in these instructions on how to set it to be the sunshine clock. All right, I'm done with you. Stop. <laughs> oh, those are the, the rain, birds, lullaby, good night, sunrise, fire, ocean, uh, fan, cricket. All right, so we saw that. There is not one word about how to do the sunrise, sunset. Nothing. One reviewer said the instructions are not for the clock that's in the box. Maybe they had the same thing. There is no way you can learn about the, uh, the other thing is, and a lot of reviewers, they're right. You can't do anything on the clock. Like last night, I finally got the rainbow up and I'm thinking, Oh, you know what? I'm just going to not return the clock. I'm not going to use it as a clock, but I'm just going to have it in the studio. Oh, that's almost it. Uh, because I like the way it looks. 
But if you accidentally, and the, and the buttons are in the back. So if you go to reach for something and you accidentally touch it, it just will shut off or go into a different color. Um, anyway, but my favorite, <laughs> my favorite, this is the favorite thing I've seen here. Um, it's a practical and thoughtful gift, especially for kids, boys and girls, 10 to 16 years old. <laughs> Only. I've never seen a more specific, give it to a kid and go, wait a minute. And I'm 17. Yeah, this is, get I'm this getting out of rid here. of this. And then you give it to a nine-year-old and go, I don't understand this. Give it to me again next year when I'm 10. It's so funny. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, that seems I mean, like the uh, most frustrating the clock I've ever seen. The design is neat, but I, 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 I don't get it. Yeah, I agree. I, I think that it being so frustrating to manage the instructions, the buttons, it's like just make a good... How hard is it to make a good user interface? A yeah. With uh, the name uh, on it. How yeah. hard is it? Yeah, not fun. Not, not anyway. Fun. Like I said, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna get it to the rainbow thing and put it up on the shelf where I can't touch it, and I'll have one yet one more effect at Disneyland. <laughs> It'll uh, be the know, effect that makes the scene. I mean, I'm telling yeah, exactly, you. Exactly. Exactly. Has Scooter X found it for nine dollars yet? No. Uh, here, let's see. Uh, Scooter X. Uh, scroll up. It doesn't look like it. No. Okay. Look like okay. It. So here it is on Amazon. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this one. I wish. I, I <laughs> here's what you wanted: the sunrise. Yes, exactly, exactly. How do you make that happen? Ah, uh, yeah, it's yeah. That seems weird. pretty frustrating. Uh, that um, it's just not easy to use. Eight, yeah. nine buttons, and. You couldn't label any of them, so <laughs> you can't figure out how to use it. Also, why um, are clocks just so bad? It's always like some weird menu select, like, can you we not just have like pluses and minuses for the hours and minutes? Like, it's always the weirdest, most convoluted, like, convoluted way to get. Yeah. To, uh, no, I forget who said it. It was good. They said, the uh, Ranger Rick said it should have had a remote. Because then you don't have to touch the clock. It, it is really annoying that you're setting something and you set it, but you hit the clock and it changes to something else. Absolutely. Anyway. This seems like anyway. it was a design in the worst user interface you could get. I yes, mean, exactly. To put yeah. the unlabeled buttons behind the touch-sensitive bar <laughs> yes, exactly. seems a little... I mean, it seems like... Uh, seems like... Torture. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. what were we thinking? Uh, Scooter yeah. X did find an option. Oh. It's not exactly oh, okay. the same, but it is inexpensive. No. And oh, it's 727. Yeah. Now, with shipping, it's still around 16 because of the shipping. Oh, is like 10 okay. Bucks. Okay. But, uh, well, yeah. yeah there's no, I like that you can spin. see through the clock. It was kind of interesting. I agree. That was, it was a neat yeah. look. It was a very neat look. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's so funny when you said someone designed the clock and then gave it to someone else to said, make this clock do something. I remember when I bought my first big houseboat, a 34 foot houseboat, and I was talking to the mechanic and I said, you know, what do you do if you need to change something major like the oil pan? He said, oh, cut the roof open. Um, take all, I said, what? He said, he said, I was talking to the, uh, one of the architects and he said, the design, we, we build a hull and we put all the machinery in and then they turn it over to the design team who just builds over everything. They, <laughs> they don't leave, they don't leave hatches where there should be hatches he said, just pray nothing goes wrong. Oh, my because, gosh. Yeah. Uh, I have a friend who's a mechanic, and he, he said, Dick, I got the most interesting job. The guy, I'm, they're going to pay me $10,000. The, 
the guy's oil pan froze under the engine and the yard says we have to cut the transom off your boat. Oh my gosh. To get to what you need fixed. The transom is the big middle. The transom is the back of the boat. <laughs> the whole it, back of the just, boat. They just get the whole boat where the, where the name of the boat is. To get to the oil pans under the diesel engines. Oh my God. And it took him, uh, I don't know how he did it, uh, a, a fraction of a day, a fraction of an inch every day. And he was able to raise the engine enough to hit the floor, but they could get the pan out. Um, but the yard wanted $40,000 yeah. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it's nice when engineers and designers design come together something. and have a discussion. Y yeah. <laughs> Yes, exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, um, Scooter X did ha find a much closer. Uh, oh, very option. good. Yes. Even oh, has, but like, it's a almost the same price. That. Yeah. It looks like their buttons are in the front. Look at that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yes, and all on one side. Yeah. That's spread out. This is this is version two point This is the yeah, second. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. Whatever. Exactly. It's a good option. Um. um Okay. Okay. Very cool. Yep. Uh, gadgets for a kid. Recently, before a Giz Fizz show, Dennis said, you should have a voice changer so you could pretend to be the announcer. And I thought, hmm, if only there was a place online you could order things. Okay. So I went over to Amazon and bought the Mini Explorer. Five in one voice changer. <laughs> that looks with fun. With colorful lights. Amplifies your voice, rechargeable. I could be an alien, a ghost, a robot, a monster, or use it as a mic. Uh, ages three and up. So I qualify. Uh, and it was 20 bucks. Interesting uh, that they didn't have a cutoff date changer, like the other one. Yes, yes, it is. Three and up to 25 only. Yeah. Okay. This has got a camera in it, doesn't it? <laughs> um, wow, USB C. Wow. This that's good. Um, yeah, three uh, gadgets, right, so three USB Cs. I'll plug it in. That and is impressive. It. It looks pretty times neat. are a changing. And then we'll yep. see how it does. This has a nice little light on the side. It was red, and now it is green. It's fully charged. And I used a big, long cable from under my desk to charge it. Uh, a USB-C. Uh, uh, um. Okay, the voice changer. Amazing Voice FX Megaphone lets you change your voice and become anybody you want to be. <laughs> As long as it's the six mm, voices we have. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, all right. Connect the two parts together. We did that. Charge it. The light on the side will be red and turn green when fully charged. So it's, we saw green. Turn on the device. To turn on the device, hold the mic trigger. Oh. oh. Until you hear a sound. The device will shut off automatically. After 20 minutes of inactivity, uh, there is a volume and echo. Each of the five buttons has an icon to show you what your voice will sound like. I am here yeah. to tell you, Luke, I am not your father. <laughs> I'm a distant cousin to your niece, Lily. On your mother's side. Oh, I think kids are going to get a kick out of this. Let's do uh, one more. I mean, we're talking 20 bucks. <laughs> kids will love that one. Yeah. <laughs> Now this should just be my voice. Magnified. So loud. All right. You know, for kids, 
Um, let me see. All right, 20 bucks. Well, you know, it did pretty decent. 428 ratings, 4.2 stars. For 20 bucks, it's, it's good. It's fun. It's fun. Okay. They tend to all sound very similar, but with sort of nuances. And old nonsense. And old nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> all right, it's kind of cute looking. I think kids will like it. It has a little carry strap. And I like the fact that it's USB-C. That's it. I like it. I like the... Uh... I think it was, did a really good job of the little notification sounds when you like click the button. Yeah, I, I, I think I like yes, that. absolutely. Uh, you know, kids are going to think it's it's very cute. I think. Yeah. Although I, I, Dan said he got one at five below. What is this right? A voice is it twenty changer. bucks and a fifty percent coupon? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Can I get this for ten dollars? Oh my! That wasn't there yesterday. <laughs> Holy that? cow! That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Folks, if you want a toy for a kid for a gift, 10 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So you got the alien, the ghost, the monster, and the robot. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have found you, you may have to push the button uh, several times to hear the, the uh, OK chime to say that the thing has shifted. But kids don't care about that. That's yeah. easy to do. Yeah. That's great. That's awesome. Man, I can't believe how inexpensive that is. <laughs> that $20 is, starting is. price is good. and then, Yeah. Ten bucks. Yeah, that's great. That's really great. Um, All okie right. Dokie. Now, now. Ooh. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okay, dokie. We are back with a crappy corner segment. The patrons got to decide the theme, and the options were home office gadgets, time saving gadgets, and eco friendly gadgets. Uh, sadly, eco friendly gadgets. It's going to be third. It's, yeah, Saturday. And what are the other two? Home gadgets? Uh, uh, home office gadgets home and office. time saving. Our chat room, time saving. Ooh, it was oh, close. Am I wrong? It oh, okay. was not time saving. It was home office oh, with 44% okay. oh, my gosh. of the vote. Okay. Here we are, our wonderful patrons. Don't forget, if you're a patron, you can also suggest themes uh, for next month's poll. Uh, and so if you have a theme that pops in your mind, uh, feel free uh, to suggest it in the comments of this month's Crappy Corner poll that just wrapped up, uh, and then we'll see it next month. But so yeah, home office gadgets. Oh, that's good. I'm interested. I'm this will interested. be a fun one. I, you know, I, I have a home office. I think I said it in the video too. A little preview of the video in just a second. But I got a home <laughs> office. I've been a home office for a very long time. So I have a few gadgets for y'all. And uh, I recorded a, a video of one of my gadgets. Actually, I decided to pick up, do a gadget that I already owned. So I think this is a, a good one. Here we go. Hey, diggity! As you know, that we have learned that the gadget category is home office gadgets. And I, luckily, do have a home office. So I uh, wanted to solve an issue that I recently had. That's because I have gotten into Stanley's, the 40 ounce tumbler that is taking over the world by storm. I really enjoy my Stanley. But one funny thing about this is it's actually so tall that it actually covers up my monitor uh, if I like use this at my desk. So I was looking for a way to kind of get it off my desk, also make sure that it didn't like tip or fall. And so I found this little gadget. This is a cup holder which you can add to the side of a desk. And uh, this is actually a gadget that I got myself and I've really, really, really enjoyed. Uh, so first off, it is completely aluminum, which I really like. It's nice uh, uh, metal all around. I really like the construction of that. Obviously, you have a screw to clamp it on to your desk. You have the cup for the the actual cup to sit into. Uh, there's a little cutout here if you have a mug with a handle. The bottom oh. is rubberized, which is nice, so that when you set something down, it, it kind of deadens the sound and also is nice and grippy. And then the bottom actually has a swing out 
headphone holder. So this is rubberized on the top as well. You have these little sort of notches that I assume is for wires, but this can go on either side of a clamp, which is kind of nice that you can do that. On top of that, they also offer, or they give you a little screwdriver in the box. Uh, I, I have thrown away the box, but it was a simple little Amazon box. That screwdriver goes to these screws that are at the bottom of this cup. And so you can actually remove the cup holder part of it if you only want the headphone portion. So it's kind of like a feature that they, they mentioned. Um, so this uh, desk that we use for the Gizmos is actually uh, kind of notorious because it's actually like a cabinet. So it doesn't go all the way through. So this is a great example of a desk that isn't like a complete, just like surface, you know, something that has some cabinetry. As you can kind of see, uh, it does, even even with it not going all the way over, I still have enough room to really clamp this on uh, nicely. And I've, I've found that it uh, only needing to really handle the cup, it's been, it's been nice and solid, very sturdy. I've always been very frustrated with clamp on uh, devices for like things like microphone holders and like lights and clamps like that. But this uh, has been sturdy enough for just a straight drink to go into. And I haven't felt it move. I've been really, 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 honestly, super duper happy with it. Um, on top of that, uh, I've even kind of carried this around and it can clamp onto other things as well. So it can obviously clamp onto a desk, but it could clamp onto a table or even a chair, uh, like an armrest. Like if you have like a wooden armrest that's pretty flat, you can do that and add a cup holder to a chair, which is kind of fun. Oh, so all good. in all, I've actually really, really loved this tiny little crappy gadget um, and uh, I've been using it around. So back to you guys. There you go. Cup holder for your desk. I went ahead and installed it as we were playing the video. So now <laughs> got my Stanley. How much how much liquid is in that thing? 40 ounces. Which it's embarrassing when you buy a 32 ounce cup from like, you know, McDonald's and you pour it in and it doesn't fill it. <laughs> Cause like 32 ounces is like the largest that you can get. And you're like, oh yeah, there's still room. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that thing. it's so funny because today at the gym, someone had one of those. And and I said to the guy, how many ounces of that? And he t I said, and you drink that in a day? He said, I drink this twice a day filled. Mm -hmm. You it's too? A, yeah, it's a great, it is like, I used to be one of those people who had like a gallon, you know, thing I'd carry around because I wanted to drink about a gallon of water a day. Um, and so... This, you know, if I drink two of them, that's pretty close to a gallon of water. Um, wow. And so, it, yeah, I, that's almost, it's almost like a goal. As long as it's water, you oh. know, some, you know, maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll do soda in one of them and then water in the next one. Um, or like uh, Pedialyte or any of the, like uh, the, the, you know, pouches or Mio's yeah, or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. So, Yeah. Um, and the, there, this cup, uh, this is kind of becoming a Stanley review, but, um, it is a, one of those vacuum insulated, uh, tumblers. So the ice in this stays forever. I mean, like absolutely forever. Um, and that's kind of what they're notorious for is that they are so cold all the time. Um, and so it can be like literally 24 hours. I'm like still enjoying a cold beverage. Um, there. Great. So yeah. yeah I, and what is it, what does the cup holder sell for? So the cup holder is sixteen ninety nine, and they do have a large version too. So if you're someone who likes this, but you have like large coffee mugs all the time, um, oh, they sell oh, oh. a bigger version. So it's like wider and beefier. I haven't tried the large version. I only got the medium, um, but I really like that as uh, an option for those people who have larger coffee mugs. Um, I really, really, like I said in the review, ended up really liking it. It's been sturdy. It's been great. I like that it's all metal. Um, I like the look of it being all black and, uh, it's just, <laughs> it's just done its job. And now instead of having my, you know, Stanley, you know, what I used to do is imagine this is my desk and my monitor's right there. I'd put my Stanley down and of course it would be in the way. And so now... I can, you know, I typically would have it on the other side, but it's way out of the way of the monitor. It's not going to tip. It's not going to fall. And uh, it's just, it's just great. So um, 
I really ended up liking it. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great. If you want to just Google this specific one, it's the OKU, the O-O-K-U-U, two-in-one desk cup holder. Uh, And there you go. Uh, okay, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Bar. All right, our video is from Frank Schneider, a.k.a. Mad Frank, who is in our chat room and, and often is. Uh, hey, guys, here's a video for you, and here it is. Hey, Dick. Hey, Chad. Oh, It's Mad Frank from the chat. You said you needed uh, videos for gadgets, uh, so I'm sending in a video. Today I'm reviewing the... Smart Light Sound Machine G63. Ooh. So I got off Timu. That looks I believe cool. last week uh, the State Department said Timu, Timu, however you say it, is the most dangerous app you can put on your phone uh, after TikTok. <laughs> Primary purpose of both of those are uh, to be data mining for China. But you can't beat the deals at Timu. Whoever has the app knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, you can uh, shop for gadgets on there. Basically, this is a Bluetooth speaker is what I bought it for, Um, but the Bluetooth speaker is pretty crappy, if you can see it there. It's actually better to just use my iPhone 13. I see that's on the bottom. I didn't notice it there first. Uh, Much better. The features uh, include uh, a clock, which is uh, stuck on 24 hour time, even though it says PM. (laughs) You can see that. Man, by the way, (laughs) is uh, this. It's a quarter sheet of paper. I mean, obviously, a lot of it is self-explanatory, um, but uh, I bought it because it looked like it had so many features. Besides the clock, it is, uh, and the speaker, it is a phone charger, uh, wireless phone charger, of course. It's hard to get it situated on there in just the right <laughs> spot. I guess that works as there good as any other wireless There doesn't seem to good thing about it this. It has <laughs> controls on the front. They control uh, the music on your phone if you're uh, streaming through, uh, by Bluetooth from your phone. Uh, you can use the controls for that, and you can also use the controls if you insert a mini SD card. This is oh, what it takes. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't actually have any music on this, so if I put it in, you can hear the startup noise for the card, but not uh, any music. There it goes. Okay. Terrific. You put it in, and it just starts playing. Um, uh, that's also an auxiliary input on the back, so just a regular phone, you know, mini phone jack. Um, Anyway, the most exciting thing about it seems to be the light. You can cycle through these different shades of color. Oh, ah. Oh, wow. That's almost like the thing. Wow. So pretty cool. I guess you can see it reflecting off my face what the different colors are because my face is not normally those colors. Oh yeah, it's a. Uh, I, I prefer see it off. Point of, but yeah, the... you know, if there's a party or something, hey, have it going in the corner of the room or whatever. It looks cool. Good enough for four bucks. Anyway, um, congratulations on uh, 18 years. Woo! And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. That was great. Oh my gosh, that was great. Amazing Frank, video. That was super. Yeah. Um. Uh, I, asked, I asked him for a link, and he said he just found it in the Timu um, Timu app. Well, and he didn't have Scooter a link. Scooter X but, uh, has come through because oh is my gosh, here on AliExpress for four dollars and ten cents, well, and I, free I, shipping. So I could have heard, I could have swear that I heard Frank say four dollars at the yep. end of his video. I think so. Oh my. Gosh! I think so, so it's on uh, Temu, Timu, and uh, you know AliExpress also has one. But there it is. That is so funny. They make That's a it lot look of stuff for so much well, larger because they have like a tiny, teeny, tiny little phone on there. <laughs> <laughs> that is so That's... funny. Yeah, the lights are That's... definitely the coolest part. Yeah, it does look like a G. It like, does. 
I think someone I, someone in the chat said that is a g, g right. Oh, well, that's good. G right clock. That was empty pockets. Said that, and then <laughs> Jeff Adams said G for garbage. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, great. That, what a uh, what a unique gadget that is. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Um, so if you want to be like Frank and jump in, it was great. We asked last week for a video, and it showed up, and it's it's a fun video. Um, a video about anything that includes a gadget. Okay, fun stuff like uh, that video, a piece of crap that you hated. Make a video about it. Get your frustration out, something you love, or our favorite technology of the past that is in your basement or in the attic or in a closet that you paid a lot of money for. It's <laughs> couldn't possibly still be worth anything, but you can't throw it out because when you bought it, it was really something neat. Uh, make a video, one to three minutes. And put it up on YouTube. There's a drop down menu, click unlisted, and that way only people that you send the URL to will be able to watch it and send that to us. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And we can use one for next week. So get going. Get going. And, yeah, and just, just horizontal <laughs> format. That's right. what we ask. Right. Uh, Frank, also, thank you. That was a fantastic video. That was a very interesting gadget. Very interesting. Yes. With that, let's move on to the letter. Okie doke. A uh, letter is from James Berrigan. It's long, so I shortened it a little for this. Hi, Dick and Chad. Some observations from uh, your last show. The Bluetooth Infinity speaker, this thing uh, that I showed on last week's show. Oh, yeah, that one. He said, yeah, and I had the word help written on it. He said, it would have been extra clever if you had written help backwards as if it was someone trapped inside the infinity <laughs> space <laughs> trying to get out. And, and he's right. Let me just see if I get this to light up. Uh, yeah, you could. This is what that was. As you write on, oh, all the reflections, you write on the front in a neon, the thing, and in the back, you can see the infinity uh, wall. And then his second comment is about that faucet thing, Chad. Oh, yeah. Remember, we, we had all these things about degrees uh, uh, of Yeah, it was, it was a 1,440 degree faucet. And they also had like weird, like the competitors had 1080 degree faucets. And like, it seemed like it was resolutions. Anyway. Okay, here's the answer. The degree value, I, I don't understand the answer, but here's the answer. Okay, okay. The degree value comes from multiplying the range of motion by the axis count of the device, such as 360 degrees times four axes equals 1,440. I see. So, how many axes did we need? Four? Three? Four. Four, yeah. 360 degrees. Okay. And it can turn in four axes. Let's, let's count here. Okay. One. So, this is 360. Okay. One. Two. Over here. <laughs> is this count? This does not go 360. <laughs> no. <laughs> not enough. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Rather than axes, it would have been There's another one. Sent we got a little it, converter it. that you could use it. We got another one. Here's another dimension. <laughs> there we go. No, this is silly. That is is funny though. I think that yeah. I think that is correct. Is every little? I still don't know how they counted to four. Maybe the connection to the faucet, because it really should only, it really only has two pivot points. 
Um, that is so well, funny. Anyway, who who knew that? Yes. Anyway, um, thank you for. Well, wait, we have one more thing. James says, "Here's a gadget I love, but is has been discontinued. Oh. It's the Penguin CD rack, and he sent a photo. And then listen to this: the model cited holds 360 DVD cases. It comes with enough parts to combine two of them." to store 900 DVDs. Oh, wow. With ordering some spare parts and a Dremel cutting tool, I have 17 sections joined together, <laughs> and I am storing 3,060 DVDs. Wow. <laughs> okay. James G. James Berrigan. Yeah, that, this is, that's what we needed was, uh, you know, for the degrees, was just the DVDs. We had 360 yeah, that's degrees, exactly. 360 exactly. DVDs. Yeah. That's all we needed. That yeah. is insane. That is so cool that you found a gadget that'll work for <laughs> for that. Like, for, Yeah, well, to be clever enough to buy a bunch of the and somehow make them all go to get it. It's a whole 3,000 exactly. uh, DVDs. Mom. That is kind of amazing. That is so cool. Yeah, that's frustrating. Uh, yeah, and this is currently unavailable. So. Like, I can't, I can't expand my DVD collection because they stopped making the shelves. <laughs> I invested in shelves. That stinks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, well, thank you. Thanks for sending that over. That is that was uh, fun. Awesome. Yeah, very fun. I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, so, so much for supporting our show. Uh, and uh, congrats to y'all for getting little perks like being able to have your your voice is heard in the crappy corner theme. Um, so uh, thank you guys so, 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 so much for your support. If you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back. Gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website, and then uh, there'll be a big old Patreon banner on that webpage or a tiny little PayPal link if you want to support via PayPal. Gizwiz.tv is our website where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. We will just update the website with the live stream so you can chat along with everybody and uh, see it as we record it. And I recommend that you join the live stream and the chat room because a fantastic group of folks in that chat room. They're absolutely amazing. Get to know them. Uh, Gizwiz.tv is where you can watch uh, our previous episodes after the fact if we're not live. So head on over to Gizwiz.tv to watch the show. Head over to Gizwiz.biz where we get to find out what the heck was it? I'm so excited. Let me, uh, here, let me see. I need to look at it again. Scroll and see if past you... the answer here. I'm going to, this is the new what the heck is it? I didn't see. Let's, I really think this is like a cup of some type. Like a un, like an, like this, it, it reconnects to be more like a glass or something. It, it, it is a pill bottle with a built-in pill crusher. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, a lot of people, uh, I, I suspect a lot of people Googled it because they were, there you go. Oh. You put a pill on it, and then when you screw the cap down, maybe it doesn't even store pills. Maybe, it oh, it's just called it. the, yeah, it, it's the TheraCare Pill Crusher. Oh, my gosh. Uh, a lot of people knew about it. That is but what we like best are the fun, cute things, and we can look at some of them. Uh, yeah, uh, here we go. Go up a, a little. Da, 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 yeah, a lot of lighthouse answers. Uh, a lighthouse uh, for a miniature lighthouse. A uh, lighthouse for ants. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people pencil sharpener. Um, solar lights you would put along a walkway. That's a, a possibility. That's a good one. I like the the police siren light from the opening credits of the oh. Naked Gun. <laughs> Um, a, a mini pepper grinder that oh, could that's be a good one. I could see it just being a, uh, yeah, a little, uh, 
just sitting on the table, a little pepper. Yeah. I, did, I like a festive, a festive dapper Frankenstein neck bolt that glows <laughs> during the holiday season. Those are his party bolts. Yes. They, no, that's very good. That's very good. Replacement doorknob <laughs> for old glass ones from the 20s. Uh, I like this too. It's a clear shot glass and it's red so you don't lose it. And it's clear so you can see when you need more. <laughs> And this one, this one, Chad, you won't get. It's either the chalice from the palace or the flagon with the dragon. It's from an old Danny Kaye movie where he says that a lot. And then another very, <laughs> one of my favorites, a fire hydrant for a teacup chihuahua. <laughs> that's funny. That's actually yeah. very funny. Uh, that's great. Okay, so this is the new. This what is the new. What the heck is the it? What the heck is it? And uh, I hate to uh, give it away in the first, the first glance. Uh, okay. These are obviously uh, Siamese eggs. Uh, oh, yeah. God, that's uh, so good. It's so close. Join so together at the yolk. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. So if you think you know what these are, get a guess in six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>